Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon you, brothers and sisters, and welcome everyone to listen to this lecture QA about Islam. Questions and answers regarding Islam. What is Islam? Islam linguistically means submission. One of the meaning of Islam linguistically speaking from the Arabic language is Taslama which is means submission. Jesus peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon him he was a submitter to the Creator. Moses, peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon him, he was a submitter to the Creator. All the prophets, they were submitter to the Creator. So Islam is not a new religion, it's the extension of Judaism and Christianity. It's one, one Creator, one humanity, one message. Islam. Adam, may Allah be, 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 be may Allah uh, be blessed with him. He was a submitter to Allah. As Allah says in the Quran, فتلقى آدم من ربه كلمات فتاب عليه إنه هو التواب الرحيم. So Adam, peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon him was a submitter to Allah. Uh, Noah, Nuh, was a submitter to Allah. So all of them were Muslims because they were a submitter to Allah. They submit to the teaching of Allah. Allah is not a new name. It's uh, in Judaism, Elohim. In Aramic, Allah. In Arabic, Allah. So it's a name of the Creator. Elohim, Allah, Allah. It's one Creator, one humanity, one message. What's that one message? Submission to Allah, which is mean, means Islam. Okay. Why we believe this book? Why we believe this book to be the word of the Creator? What's the evidence that this book is the word of the Creator? This book in the picture is the, is the Mus'haf. When you recite the Mus'haf, you read in the Quran. And that's the difference between the Quran and the Mus'haf. Mus'haf, which is the book, the one you see in the picture. So where is the Quran? The Quran is the recitation of the Mus'haf. That's the Quran. That's the difference between Quran and Mus'haf. Okay, now another question. Why do we believe the Mus'haf or the Quran to be the word of the Creator who created the heavens and the earth? There is so much evidence, so many evidence that this book uh, the, the Quran or the Mus'haf is the word of Allah the word of the creator who created the heavens and the earth and what's between them how how can we be sure by examining by examining the Mus'haf by using the scientific method to examine this book and actually this book it tells you come and test me أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا 
to not they reflect on the Quran or they have a lock on their heart so the Quran or the Mus'haf the one you see in the front of you is inviting you to test it to run the scientific method on it and when you do that there's conditions for that because this Quran or this Mus'haf is revealed in the Arabic language so whoever wants to test the Arabic language aspect of the Quran he should have knowledge in Arabic so running the scientific method in any topic you should have knowledge in that topic for example if I want to run the scientific method in biology I should have background in biology and so on for any other topic same thing when you learn Arabic language and the grammar of the Arabic language or the people who are specialized in the Arabic language they come and test this Quran they know for certain that this Quran cannot be from the human mind linguistically and meaning meaningly because the word has a sound and it has a meaning like when I say can in English can you heard the sound of can you heard that sound you test the sound and you test the meaning too and the word has meaning same thing in this Quran in the Arabic language when you come and test it or someone who who's in the back who has a background in Arabic language when they come and test the Quran they test two things they test what the sound the effect of the sound and the meaning and they test the grammar and they test the literature they test so many things in the Arabic language so he's saying what about the people who don't speak Arabic there is a lot of things in the Quran you could it could tell you that this Quran is the word of the Creator for example take for example the scientific miracles of the Quran the Quran this book have told us about so many things regarding the Cosmo from 1400 years ago for example the Big Bang the Quran mentioned the Big Bang from 1400 years ago the Quran mentioned the expansion of the universe from 1400 years ago the Quran mentioned how was the evolution of the Big Bang from 1400 years ago the Quran have mentioned the uh, buoyancy of the mantle and the crust of the earth from 1400 years ago so so many scientific info in this Quran it tells you that it cannot be from the mind of Muhammad peace and blessings and mercy of Allah upon him so many in in every field you'll find something in cosmology in anatomy in histology in embryology the development of the embryo so many things in geology uh, all of this infos cannot be from the mind of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam who lived 1400 years ago because those those scientific uh, facts weren't discovered back then so that tells you that this Quran is from the one who created the heavens and the earth and what's between them so I'll stop right here inshallah for this video to keep it under 10 minutes 
Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamualaikum.